Genuine faith is revealed when we go through genuine trials. And that will reveal a genuine life. But think about Peter. Jesus and Peter, and Jesus and all the disciples are together. And Jesus says, hey, you guys get into the boat, go to the other side. I'm going to stay on land for a little while and pray. Meanwhile, they're out in the boat, and uh, the winds start picking up, the waves start rolling, and now they see something out in the water. You guys know this story? They see something out in the water. What is that? It might be a ghost. Maybe it is a ghost. Peter says, I think it's Jesus. Jesus, if that's you, then, then command me to come to you. Jesus says, come on, the water's great. He jumps in, swims out of the boat, into the water, and starts walking, right? Now, this is my impression of walking the waves, right? Right? This is walking. Thank you. I'm not walking. Walking. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm walking on water. Oh. <laughs> and, right? And he begins to sink. Now he begins to sink. Now, listen. Here's what he does. This is where he reveals his genuine faith. Because Peter didn't reach back and start swimming for his boat of safety. He didn't pull out his arm floaties. <laughs> <laughs> right? He didn't pull out his arm floaties either. Genuine, <laughs> genuine faith was revealed when he, when, though he was drowning in the middle of the storm, as he was going down and down, Jesus, help me! This is where genuine faith is revealed. When we're in the midst of the storms, when we're in the midst of the trial, and instead of running back to our boats of safety, and instead of just dangling at the end of the rope, we're floating. Don't float. Dead fish float. You can do better than that. We've got to reach. That's where genuine faith is. In the midst of the trials, in the depths of some of the hardest times of life.